Hey guys, it's Kathy here today. I hope you're doing well. So today I want to show you how to do something that is really, 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 really easy. But because we're stuck in the trenches, sometimes these things slip through the cracks and we don't do it. I'm going to show you how, if you have a Shopify website, a Shopify store, how you will enable rich pins for Pinterest. So it is embarrassing how long it took me to do this myself. And the reason is because sometimes you go like 75% and you do everything, you build your Shopify site, but you know what? If you're not on Pinterest every day, like all the time, like the first thing I think about isn't, and it should be probably, but the first thing I think about isn't how to optimize my shop for Pinterest because I just, don't use Pinterest all the time. So maybe you're a technically challenged guerrilla DIYer like me, and you've built your Shopify site, and the last thing you're thinking about is optimizing my shop for Pinterest. So this is something that will help you get more eyeballs on your stuff. So just a disclaimer, this how-to is really for people who have a Shopify store website and they want to enable rich pins. If you're watching this video and you're thinking, gee, I'd really love to optimize my website for rich pins for Pinterest, but I don't have a Shopify website. I do have links that will be in the description, which will help you to enable rich pins on whatever site you have. So check out the description, check out the links and you can take it from there. So what are rich pins anyway, as opposed to regular pins? They automatically update when you update your shop or when you update the information that the pin is leading to. You don't have to worry about outdated information on that pin, even like if it's a couple years old. There's way more information on the pin that the viewer can see so easily and they can just click right through and buy your product. They just look nicer. So all of these things make shopping just an easier, more pleasurable experience for the person who's looking through Pinterest and looking at your products, as you can see from the example here. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Shopify shop site and you're going to grab a product. You're just going to go to a product page. So I'm going to go to this one right here, Good Karma Mug. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab the URL of this product. So we want to be on the page, the single product page where you have your add to cart or your buy now button. So you're going to command copy. So we're going to go from here to this page. It's the rich pins validator page. So this is how you validate your website, your shop site for rich pins. So they'll appear on Pinterest. It's super duper easy, obviously, <laughs> but I think this is one of those things that can fall through the cracks that we don't do, especially if we're not on Pinterest all the time or even some of the time. So you're going to paste your URL for your product down here where it says enter a valid URL in this field. And then you're going to put period O embed. So it's period O E M B E D, the word. And that information is right here too. But as you can see, it's right here, O embed. So now I'm just gonna hit validate and check it out. That was so easy. So it says, congratulations, your rich pens are approved and on Pinterest. So if your shop was still in the validation process, it can take some time, um, you would get a message that says, we're working on validating your pins and we'll get back to you. And then you'll get an email that will say, you're approved, yay. So it's super, super easy. And I think it makes a really big difference to do this. I haven't done this on my WordPress website. And I think it's a little more technical because Shopify is very optimized for Pinterest. So they already have all the coding and everything on the back end that you, I don't even have to touch it. This is all I have to do. It's like such a no brainer, but it is such one of those things that if you're not thinking of it, if it's not top of mind, if you're, if you're forgetting about Pinterest, don't forget about Pinterest. So, um, 
because it could be a really, really good source of new customers for you. So here's something. You might be saying to yourself, Kathy, what makes you an expert in Pinterest? I will be the first person to tell you I am about the farthest thing from an expert in Pinterest that you can possibly imagine. What I do know about Pinterest is I really get the fact that there is a huge amount of value and potential in using Pinterest, in optimizing websites for Pinterest and optimizing our shops for Pinterest. The thing about it is there's an audience there for every interest you could possibly have and that is huge potential for all of us to explore. That's why this is so important. So um, I hope this is helpful for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really matters, really matters to my channel. And please subscribe, because I'd love to make more videos for you. So have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.